Hey, what is up guys? It is Crimson Red, and today we are going to be playing Injustice 2. Today's character is Dr. Fate. But anyways guys, so we are here with Dr. Fate right here and the Joker. Um, what are your guys' opinion on this Joker anyways? Um, this is this is how I feel about him. I just slap him. Um, anyways guys, so we're going to learn about some combos. We're also going to learn about Dr. Fate. A very interesting character to say the least. Um, and that's why I liked him so much. I watched Pig of the Hut play as him, and Pig of the Hut actually zoned him a lot. And if you ever want a zone character, I would definitely use Deadshot. Best zone character in the game, very annoying, very campy. Um, but we're gonna learn about Dr. Fate. So, I have the moveset of his, uh, specials up on the screen right now, as you can see. So we're gonna go from the top of the list to the bottom, so that you guys can also follow along. Um, now if you are playing... Uh, PlayStation, the X button is going to be the square, and the Y is going to be the triangle, just to keep that in mind. So, we're going to do the Amon Ra Blast, which is down right X. So, that just does, you know, a basic um, projectile attack, nothing too basic, and you can EX it, which shoots out two other ones. Great for if your opponent is really down on health and you just need, you know, you just need him to die. Next is the Displacer Orb. Which is down left X. A orb that, you know, shoots out. Now, I uh, just learned that if you down left exit, and then you hit down left um, R, RT, it'll actually keep it in place. So, for example, right there. Plus then you can move the opponent into it and all that kind of stuff, which I just learned. That's how you actually meter burn that move. So, let's do it. And bam, right there. So if we, it's actually really cool. I, I don't know if there's any character in the game that actually does that, where you have to do the move again to meter burn it and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's how you do that then. So now we have um, down left Y, which say you're in a corner or whatever, and your opponent is just you know nagging at you. He's getting a lot of chip damage. Tell him to back up. You know, you just throw that at him. Is going back up now if you need to meter burn this you know you want to do more damage again just uh, down left or excuse me down right Y and it'll meter burn it it'll fly him back even further and do more damage now the breath of light which is down left Y gives you more health you know five plus every time which I'm pretty sure does about 25% um, healing and all that kind of stuff now, you can meter burn that, of course, and it does plus 10. Now, if you are a big zoner or whatever, you can actually stay in here, heal yourself, make sure your opponent stays away so that you can heal, and all that kind of stuff. Now, there is an exception to all these moves. If you have your B special, which, you know, does um, the thing right there, if you saw in the bottom left, it actually, you know, gives him red and all that kind of stuff, it changes all of these moves. So we're going to wait to get it back. But everyone has their own special ability. I'm just going to call it the B ability. Or if you're on PlayStation, the O ability or circle. Um, which actually changes how Dr. Fate works. So we're going to hit B. If we do down right X, it does more damage, actually. If we do down left X, that does more damage. Plus it also puts him in the air. Which means you can actually use it as a combo. Actually pretty cool. So... You can, um, for example, you know, do that, bam, and then roll, and then you can get a combo up in there. Another thing as well is if you do this, um, I'm pretty sure this one actually does stay the same. Maybe it might do more damage, but the main one is the Breath of Life. Actually isn't so uh, Breath of Lifey anymore. It actually hurts the opponent now. And also, if you would EX it, it does more damage, which is actually really cool. So, say your character's, your opponent's in the corner, you can um, do the B special once we get it back, and then you can EX it, and then you can get some nice damage onto him. So look, look how much damage that did, just because of the Breath of Life, and that wasn't really even a main combo. So now let's get back into the combos right here. That's pretty much what everyone came for and all that kind of stuff. And I have found one that does 319. This is a basic, no armor, none of that, Dr. Fate. And it does 319, no meter, anything like that. 
So let's get to a basic combo right now. So the main ones that everyone decides to use and I found in the game is the overhead like this and that one. That's a basic, really good combo starter. Now, one that you guys are going to need to learn for later is back Y or back triangle for PlayStation users. Then nothing, you know, too difficult. It just puts them in the air. So the main combo that we're going to need is we're going to do forward A, uppercut, and then X, Y, Y, A. So forward um, X, that would be on PlayStation. So forward X, then uppercut, and then triangle, um, square, square, X. So bam, bam. Does 264 damage. Really good combo while you're on the arena. Not too bad. Anything like that. So, like I said, there it is again. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to know. And it does a lot of damage anyways. Now, all these combos I came up with, I didn't look them up on YouTube. So, if there is a guy that already has these combos or whatever, um, I didn't steal any of them. I actually didn't look up any combos for YouTube. I legit sat here for about two hours trying to learn some cool combos for Dr. Fate. Now, this is the main combo. This will do about 319 damage. It's going to take a while to learn. Um, it even took me a while to actually master it, so we'll even see if we can get it in our first try. But uh, this, da this will do 319 damage. So you have your opponent in the corner. Um, and you know, you really need to get in there. You need to do some big damage because he's done a lot to you. So I'm going to see if I can actually pull off the combo just first and then I'll explain it. 319.37 with no meter. So let's go over how we did it. Now, first, what you want to do is you want to do the main overhead which is um, forward X or forward A, depending on what console you're in. Then you want to do the back Y or the back triangle. Again, this is the thing that I said that you need to learn for later. Next, what you want to do is you want to do forward Y or forward triangle, and then you want to do up A or up X. So it looks something like that. Then what you want to do is what we learned from the last combo, which was y x x a or triangle square square x which is this oh, excuse me if i can get it there we go so that's what you want to do as well now with all those things combined it should look something like this 319.37 huge combo honestly um i'm actually surprised that they have something like this in the game Especially with um, no meter um, being needed, it's actually pretty damn good. Um, another thing that I would say with any character, if you guys are using... Right now, a lot of people are blocking down. Some people will actually look like this. A lot of people go that way, which is a great reason why I use this for my combo starter. Because it's an overhead. Now, most of the main people, they'll actually block up. You know, they'll actually block forward so that they'll block your overhead. If they ever do that, then what you can do is you can do this. And it'll actually restart them. And it's just playing mind games, honestly. Because if they don't block this, one, that's really good damage on an overhead anyways. Plus then, you can get your combo in there. So you can, you know, do this. And you can get your combo. Plus then, if they don't block their down, you know, you're good anyways. Or, what you can even do is just do this. You know, and get your combo that way. There's a lot of great how to trick opponents and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, in fighting games, it's mostly mind games. So now let's just do his um, his special. Why not? If you guys haven't seen it already. But uh, yeah, this this has been Doctor Fate. The real the, he has really good combos and all that kind of stuff. And if you guys actually found any more combos, make sure to write them in the comments below because I'm really curious to learn this guy. Um, like I said, I took about two hours to learn some cool-ass combos. Um, I actually faced a Dr. Fate player a while back, and he actually liked the combos that I did. And, um, yeah. So, it's really cool seeing Dr. Fate players and all that kind of stuff. I was actually a, a Batman main at first. So, seeing stuff like this and switching to Dr. Fate, I really like Dr. Fate. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed Dr. Fate... Uh, 
assists, the combos, and all that kind of stuff, make sure to smash that like button like I'm smashing Joker right now, beating him to a pulp. He's been a great help being a, um, a test dummy and all that kind of stuff. But if you guys actually want to see any other characters, make sure to comment that below because, like I said, I also uh, main Batman as well. I do want to say that I am a more Dr. Fate character, but I do have some cool stuff for Batman. He's level 17. And then I also have Dr. Fate. Really a better equipment for Dr. Fate, but my Dr. Fate is also level 18. So if you guys do want to see Batman, make sure to comment that in below or any other character. I don't mind learning other characters. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. But anyways, guys, I'm Crimson Red, signing out.